Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to deploy applications with Zen Server 6. Zen Server deployment allows you to package an application and deploy it, making it available for users on the web. Zen Server will handle the web server configurations and other necessary actions to deploy the application. Once this is done, your application is live and available on the web at the URL you have specified as your base URL. Typically, a Zen deployment package contains three parts. The data folder, holding all the source code of your application. The deployment XML, a descriptive file describing all necessary information in order to deploy your application using Zen deployment. And the scripts folder, containing any additional hook scripts you would like to use during the deployment. Zen deployment consists of six actions, two for deployment, two for rollback, and two for removal. Two hook scripts are provided for each action, pre and post allowing you to customize the different deployment stages according to your specific needs. For example, this post-staging hook script will replace entered values for defined user parameters after the staging process ends. In Zen Server 6, the deployment package can also include pre-configured and customized monitoring and caching rules. We'll get back to these later on. Deployment can be done using Web API, but in this video we'll be using Zen Server's user interface. Deployment is handled from the Configuration page under the Applications tab. To begin the process, click the Deploy Application button in the Action bar and the Deploy Application wizard is displayed. So our first step is to upload the application package. The success message at the top of the page tells us that we succeeded in uploading the package. On the second page, we're going to define the application's properties and the way the application is accessed. As you can see, the application type and version number are already displayed. The display name is the name that Zen Server will display for this application, and we'll leave it as Drupal for now. The virtual host field is automatically filled with the default server that is defined in Zen Server. If you have not yet defined a default server, the default virtual host on your server will be used. You can also add a new virtual host by clicking Add New. In the path field, we're going to enter the second part of the base URL, which can only be a directory. As we type, the application URL is updated below. Leaving this field empty, by the way, we'll deploy the application on the virtual host's route. Our next step is to read and accept the terms specified in the application's end user license agreement. We've now reached the prerequisites validation page. On this page, Zen Deployment will validate existing system configuration settings and compare them to the defined prerequisites in the package. In this case, Zen Server's notified us that the package prerequisites call for the MySQL extension to be loaded and that the extension is currently not loaded. Clicking the link opens Zen Server in a new tab and leads us to the correct page in the user interface allowing us to fix the configuration mismatch. Let's locate the MySQL extension, load it, and then restart Zen Server to apply the changes. Back in the deployment wizard, I'm going to click refresh. Zen Server confirms that all is well this time. We can carry on to our next step. The next page in the wizard contains any user parameters that need to be defined to install the application package. As you can see, this package contains database parameters, such as the location of the database and the username and password for accessing it. The next and final step of the wizard is to view and confirm the deployment details. Once we reviewed the summary and click Deploy, Zen Server will commence with the deployment process, which includes restarting the server. Our application is now live and available on the web at the URL we specified as our base URL. Selecting the deployed application from the applications list displays all related information. 
checking the monitoring and caching rules, we can see that the predefined and customized rules we saw earlier in the Zen deployment package have been installed with the application. Once deployed, applications can be updated by uploading new application packages, redeployed if an error occurred during the deployment process, or entirely be removed from the server. All these action items are available in the Actions column on the right, and of course can be performed using web APIs. In addition, these actions can also be performed in a cluster, adding real scalability to your production environment. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, just click the Send Feedback button. For more detailed information on working with deployment and additional features of Zen Server 6, please refer to the online documentation at zen.com.